All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ben Dixon here with episode 77 of the MLM Monday show. Today we're covering another topic within the industry. We have a whole series of really cool interviews and awesome fun stuff we're going to be digging into uh, coming up very soon. Um, but for now, I want to in invite each and every single one of you to check out this feature topic. Where we talk about text messaging in MLM and direct sales, network marketing, how to use text messaging, what's proper, what are the different ways ways people are using it. If you're just joining us on live, go ahead and comment in watching live. If you're on a recording, you're watching a replay, comment in where you're watching from. As always, PM us or message us if you have any questions about the show or want to see a certain topic. So text messaging and MLM, what are some of the ways both corporate direct selling companies, people who run direct sales companies and MLMs are using texting? What are some ways that you can use texting with your prospects and with your members right here inside of the system? System. Hey, Petri, welcome. Snowy Helsinki. Very, very cool. Um, it is snowy Chicago here as well. I uh, actually just saw a coyote take out a rabbit in the woods outside of my office. How killer is that to watch that? That was just, it was amazing. He just like took him out right there. You never, don't usually get to see that stuff, but out here you do. So it's cool, just west of the city. So I want to connect with you guys today on text messaging and MLM. So let's talk about some of the regular things people do texting for, right? Many times you have your a list of text messages or ideas of how you can use texting that you share with people who are actual reps and distributors in the team. So, hey, once you make your list of people that you're going to reach out to, here's a text question you can ask them to see if they're open to connecting about the product or the service or the opportunity, right? Here are some questions you can text out that pique curiosity, right? This is kind of the minimum uh, viable use of texting here in direct sales today, right? If you're not already doing that, uh, you should be doing that. Have a preset list of texts people can use uh, that help them with quality questions they can ask uh, to open up conversations with people in their life, right? Other texting tools for connecting with prospects are images that you can send out as a text message that prompt curiosity, right? So how can you use an image in your text that would be really powerful? right? It's a great way to think about it. A lot of clients that we work with will even mobile optimize a capture page with a video on it so that when they text it out to somebody, you know, on iOS, it'll have like a beautiful OG tag of like the site. And then when they tap on it, it will open up and play the video right on their mobile device and invite them to try a product or a service. If you don't yet have mobile capture pages or mobile landing pages, people can text out the folks, send me a message. I'd be glad to connect with folks on our team who do that type of work here in the space connect. So here are some of the other ways that you don't usually think about text messaging that or where corporate companies are using texting that's working in a really powerful way. So talking about text broadcasts, right? So for the members that have subscribed to text messaging, if you run a direct sales company, one of the powerful ways to use it is to send out text broadcasts. There's kind of two times I like to do this each week. One time is once commissions are paid. If you pay weekly commissions, it is really cool to send out a text um, saying, hey, commissions have been paid. Check your e-wallet, right? It is awesome uh, to do that when you run your commissions each week. Or a really cool way just to to grab people with this, like, oh yeah, commissions were paid, right? That's really cool, because then they're thinking like, man, got to go see what I earned, right? And they go check in there. The other one I really like is for your motivational calls. Some of you do Sunday night or Monday morning motivation calls, or you do Monday night training and recognition calls that you do every single week. Instead of just emailing about them or sending them out on Facebook Messenger, just send out a text 30 minutes before the call. It's a powerful way to just engage people right away and say, hey guys, we're starting that kickoff call in 30 minutes here. It's a really great way to do that. Oh, I like Petri's question. He says, hey, what's your best hint not to irritate people with text messages? Well, you, you let them opt out is the whole key, folks. They opt in, right, when they choose to get these messages. And if it's too irritating, they opt out. That's how it is. I remember <coughs> when Twitter launched, the first time when Twitter uh, first became anything, I was subscribed for text notifications on Twitter. And I remember I had bought a rental property and I was walking out to my rental property with my contractor that day and my phone's just blowing up. This, it was just text after text after text after text of who followed me back and all this stuff. And I was like, this is too much. And I turned it off, right? And I've never had text updates from Twitter uh, ever since on my phone. Um, but there's other services where if you're only getting you know, two text messages a week, 
or three text messages a week. That's not irritating, right? And I may choose to keep subscribing uh, for that. One of my favorite places to send text messages is when a prospect takes an action. So if you're the company, have triggers in your system so that when a new prospect fills out the form on a website or registers for a webinar or purchases a product that you would send a text message out inside of the system. It's awesome when people can get a notification that, oh yeah, my personally enrolled person, you know, my personally uh, invited prospect just filled out the form on a website or, or watched a video. It's really cool to them to know that right away in real time. It's an incredible way to get results at real-time feedback for folks. There's a lot more ways to use text messaging, but if you have uh, questions about it or ways that you've been using it in the space, uh, we have a compliant texting platform we've been using for years inside of our marketing systems. We'd be glad to assist or connect on that. Know that if you're not using text messaging, though, you truly are missing out. It's amazing how not only 95 plus percent of messages are open, but they're red. You know, um, you, you get nowhere near that in email and you can do it in a way where people are not irritated. And the answer to that is that it's relevant, right? People are fine with relevant information. They're irritated with is information that they don't feel is relevant to their life. So be relevant. All right, team, have a blessed day. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.